How's it going guys? Jimmy Wu, CEO of Infinity Air at All Flight doing the series on thrust reversers. So I wanted to show you guys the thrust reverser. The last one, the last video, I did a CFM 56-3 thrust reverser with the transleading sleeve which slides back. A lot of th thrust reversers are made that way. Uh, today I want to show two different other styles of thrust reverser. This is the thrust reverser for the CFM 56-5 series, which goes on the A320. And I have some live footage for you right after, after this uh, display that's going to show you how it works on wing. This is a thrust reverser that does not have a transceding sleeve, doesn't slide back, and what's called is commonly known as suicide doors because both of these two doors will pop open and deploy after the airplane has landed to slow down or de-escalate the speed of the, the aircraft by reversing the airflow from the engine going backwards rather than going backwards, uh, going forwards. And this particular thrust reverser has two hydraulic systems or two hydraulic actuators. One here to control this uh, door, which is called a pivot door. And then a second hydraulic actuator here that controls this door. There are two doors, two sets of these thrust reversers halves for one engine. And then we have what's called a CDU unit. This controls both of the hydraulic units. When we talked about the thrust reversers not deploying in midair. That's why this particular thrust reverser has not only one locking actuator, but has two locking systems, which is set here and here. And the hydraulic control unit controls the locking actuator by first releasing the locks putting hydraulic pressure in here, the locks release, then regulates the amount of hydraulic power to both of these actuators. This is very important. In the first, uh, the, the original generation of thrust reversers, they didn't have a sink lock, they didn't have any type of restrictors, they did not have any type of locking mechanism. The second generation of thrust reversers, they came out with a locking mechanism, but there was not a sink lock. Sink lock meaning sinking the, the two actuators to have exactly the same amount of pressure. And that's very, very important when you slow down an airplane, where you deploy these thrust reversers, that the actuators are synced together, and that's why the CDU comes into play, okay? In addition to that, we have uh, regional, aircraft thrust reversers and these thrust reversers also deploy but in the clamshell style which is very similar to what is on the DC-9 MD-80 even on a 717 aircraft uh, for the JT uh, engines or the BR series engines JT-9-200 series JTA I should say dash 200 series aircraft the engines have these clamshell style thrust reversers this particular thrust reverser is for the Rolls-Royce Allison engine and it is used on the Embraer 120, 145 as well. And I should have some footage of these type of thrust reversers for you as well on the next series. But today, I'm gonna to show you some live footage of the CFM 56-5 series thrust reverser with the pivot doors on a brand new American Airlines A320 aircraft while we were landing in Miami. So uh, I hope you enjoy. All right, guys. Take care. Thanks. This is a footage of a flight that I was on from Los Angeles to Miami on an American Airlines A321 aircraft that's flying with the CFM 56-5 engine. As you can see upon landing in the approach to Miami, the aft spoilers and the leading edge are deployed forward and uh, this slows down the airplane. Also, it increases drag and uh, increases lift to the airplane as well. Uh, we can't see the aft flap in the shot, but you can certainly see the leading edge uh, pull forward. And this, as I stated, will increase the lift of the airplane. Here we are when the airplane's coming for landing. The nose landing gear just touched and the thrust reverser is deployed, the pivot doors are deployed uh, as you saw on the ground, but now you have a live shot of this on the airplane, on the wing itself. And uh, as the airplane slows down to a speed, the brakes are employed and um, the pivot door uh, shuts down, uh, as well as the spoilers 
and the leading edge is retracted as well as the aft flap uh, but you can't see it in this footage all right guys i thought i will show you guys a live footage of uh, how a thrust reverser works on wing i hope you enjoy it take care thank you